Okay, we're going to continue on. And let me see. Yeah, you can see that a little better. Well, in any case, okay, so what we're going to do is the easy one, which is the five number now. So once again, uh, you just take whatever this number is, 64 squared is 4096. Add 64, you get 4160. Add 5 squared is 25. So that's how I recommend you do the five numbers, but you can use the other method just the same. Okay, 724, well, that's 490,000. Okay, now we got to add, uh, we have to multiply 24 times 14 of them, twice 7. So the way I do it is always 10 and then 4. 10 of them is 240. 4 of them is 4 times 24 is 96. 240 and 96 is 336. I call that 33.6. So, 490, 33 plus 33.6 gives me 523.6. I have to add on 676, 524.176. I have to add on 576. 24 squared, 576. Okay, 767. Very good. We're going to use method number two. It's 8 times 734 because 67 plus 34 is 100. And 67 minus 34 is, uh, is minus 33. 67 plus 33 is 167 minus 33 is 34. 8 times 7 is 560. 8 times 3 is uh, 24,000. So we're up to 584, 584, 584, and then I go 8 times 4 is 3.2, 587.2. That might be the hardest little junction right there because <laughs> You set it all up, you got it all right, you got it, you did it right, and then you forget what this number is. But there are ways that you will figure that out because basically you'll recognize the four goes with the seven because seven plus three is 10 and seven minus three is four. So you get better at that too. Uh, you get, you can develop somewhat of a sense of looking at things and using your intuition. But anyway, we got up to 587.2, and then we have to add on the 33. 33 is an easy one to add on because it's just 1,000. You don't have to change this number. So basically, you're at 587.2, you go 588.2, and then you add on the 89. 812, 800 is 640,000. So uh, basically, we're going to have to do 16 times 12. Well. Okay, 10 times 12 is 120, and 6 times 12 is 72. 120 and 72 is 192. Kind of an easy one. 19.2 on 640,000. We're already up to 659.2 at uh, 144. 659, 344. Okay, 868. Okay, so we're method number two. That's going to be 9 times 836. Plus 32 is 100 minus 32 is 36. 9 times 836. So 9 times 8, 720. 9 times 3, 27. We're up to 747. 9 times 6 uh, is 5.4. Okay, so that's what you have to do. You have to get that one in your head. 720, 27, 5.4, 752.4. Uh, 32 is the leftover to uh, uh, square, and that's an easy one too because it's uh, you just stay at the same one. If it's 752.4, we're going to 753.4, which we did, and just add on the 2.4. Okay, so 900s on the bottom, they're not the easy ones, but 900 on the top, they are the easy ones. But anyway, so 900, we have to multiply this 24 times 18. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to go 10 times the 24 is 240, then the 8 times the 24. So we got 240, then 8 times 24, 160 and 32. Okay, so 192, no, I'm not doing that good. Let me do it like this. Uh, 240 and 160 is 400. Good. 
and 8 times 4 is 32. So 432, I call that 43.2. So 900, uh, 9 times 9 is 81, 900 times 900 is 810,000, so we're at the 810,000, but actually the 90s are a little bit easy like that because you just add whatever that is onto the 810 and it's easy. So we came up with 432, which is 43.2, so quickly I go 853.2. Now I'm already there, and it's an easy one because 24 is 576. So I'm still in 853, I'm not crossing up into 854, so it's 853, add the 576 to the uh, 2, 776, now the last one, which is the easiest one by far, because we just have to know 71 and 29 is 100, 71 minus 29, I go 79, 71 minus 30 is uh, 41, and then add the 1. 942. That's how I do it. Anyway, you're there. You just have to do 29 squared, which is 841. And now we're going to get back to uh, the special effects that the 369 code have on our numbers. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we are going to check them. So I don't do them all, well, I have done them and checked them, and I, yes, but, but basically you get a very good peace of mind when you can check them, because in all reality, every time I do one, I'm always a little bit suspicious, okay? And even when I begin to check them, that's a very good thing, because you could have made a dumb mistake, you know. Uh, it's very easy uh, to make to start this with a, this 524 to start it with a 7 when you're looking something you say 724 and you move on and, but then when you check it you'll get it uh, you'll catch your mistake and uh, there's empowerment there's empowerment in knowing how to do this uh, it brings us back to the source uh, it is the universal law of numbers without a book or the teacher other than the universal teacher uh, so basically what we do is we use the code. Okay, so I think people will understand that part and we'll use the code. So any number that reduces to a 1 will uh, square to a 1. Any number that reduces to a 2 will square to a 4. Any number that reduces to a 3 will be a 9, a 4, a 7, a 5, a 7, a 6, a 9, a 7, a 4, an 8, a 1, and a 9, and a 9. And one thing we realize about that is that um, one third of the numbers are going to be nines. So if I am working with the numbers, knowing that also in the back of my head is very helpful. So basically we have a four here. A four has to turn into a seven according to the, the universal law of numbers. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit of how I do this too. And how I do it is different every time. I do it however I'm doing it. But I do know that when I kind of look at this, uh, I can s group the numbers together. 10 and 1, 11. 15 and 1 is uh, 16, and that is a 7. So 121 is a 4. This has to be a 7. Okay? So 313 is a 7. It has to be a 4 because 49 is a 4. We can uh, eliminate the 9, 7, and 6 is 13, that's a 4. We did that good. Okay, 5, 16, 6 and 6, that's going to have to be a 9 number because it's a 3. So 8 and 8, 16 and 11, 27, that is a 9 number for sure. And it's kind of easy when we get the hang of it, to tell you the truth. And I don't expect you to get the hang of it uh, necessarily, but... I hope you get uh, to the point where you understand uh, what, I've, what I'm showing you here will help you to achieve something on your own. 7 and 20, 7, 24, now that's a 4, so how do I look at that? I look at the 7, 2, and I ignore it because I know it's a 9, so if it's a 4, it has to reduce to a 7. 5 and 2 is 7, 11, 12, 19, and 6 is 25, that is a 7. Now, obviously, 
you could still make a mistake, but in this exercise, hopefully you would catch it because any number that's a four will turn into a seven. <laughs> uh, there, you can have many seven here numbers that are not that number, as we do understand. Okay, uh, that's gonna be a nine number because I see the two and four is a six, the nine you can ignore it, so it's gonna be a nine number. So uh, there's really, I'm gonna go through the whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna do it like this. 13, 16, 23, 36, that's a nine number. Okay, so. That's a nine. All right, so we're at 237. Five and seven is 12. That's going to be a nine number. 11, 12, 18 plus the nine, it's a nine number. We're doing good. That's a nine. It has to be a nine. So I see nines. That's a nine. Forget about that. That's a nine. Forget about that. One, four, and four is a nine. Got that. Good. Checked it. Okay, seven, six, seven, no, six, four, five. 10, 15 is a six, it's gotta be a nine. So very often they're nine numbers, so kind of uh, look, uh, this is what nine numbers look like. Okay, 10, 11, 13, and five is 18. That's a nine number. Seven, 67, 14, 20, that's gotta be a four. Twos go to four. 13, 21, 23, and eight is 31, that's a four. Eight, six, and eight, 14 and eight is 22, that's a four, it's gonna to have to be a seven. Seven and five, 12, 15 and four, 19, 21 and four, 25 is a seven. Two and five has always been a seven. 30276. Oh, no, here's the number, 174, 8 and 4, that's a 12, it's a, it's a 9 number. 3 and 5, 3 and 2, 5, 12 and 6, that's our 18. A lot of them are going to add up to 18. And 27. Uh, okay, 2, 5, 6, 7 and 6 is 13, that's a 4, it's got to be a 7. 6, 11, 16, 19, and 6 is 25. 7. And uh, 482, 4 and 2 is a 6, and 8 is 14. That's a 5, so it's got to be a 7. That's a 7, and that's a 9. So that's good. That is a 7, and we got that right. 5, 6, 4, 11 and 4, 15 is a 6. There's a 9, 3, and 9 and 6. It's 9 all over the place. We can pick up 9 there. That's a 9. Look at it. 3 and 6 is a 9. 1 and 8 is a 9. 0 and 9 is a 9. Okay, so we have 683. 14 and 3 is 17. That's an 8. 8 goes to 1. 8 times 8 is 64. 6 and 4 is 1. So we have 10, 16, 20, 28. 2 and 8 is 1. Forget about the 9. It doesn't affect it. And 9, 7, 1. So I look at that. That's an 8. This has to be a 1. 9, forget about it. 6 and 8, 14, 18, 19, 1 and 9 is a 1. Okay, so that's basically the lesson for today. I hope you, uh, I gave you some food for thought and some um, kind of material that actually it's a very universal thing. Uh, I came across all of this in this endeavor looking for <laughs> shortcuts how to do that. Uh, because from there, we can expand our understanding of the scale of the universe at our level and then, you know, take it beyond. Because we are dealing with trees here. And the tree that I'm talking about is in the 369 code. Okay. Uh, cheers. Uh, adios and arrivederci and dasvidanya from uh, the universe. Come back soon.